Hallelujah. Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. Today is day six of the Minnesota Whiskey Elite Advent Calendar. It's the sixth day of December. And if you can say sixth day of if you can say sixth day of December ten times fast, then you've got better lips than me. Or do you? Probably not. Probably the best lips in the game. Day six. America. Get in there. Huh. Glancing here, just by looks alone, I would say that is what is in this glass is different. The color is very light. It's a very light color on here. It is the color of watered down melted caramel. The only way to make money in the caramel business is by cutting it with water, I heard. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it was true, this makes a lot of sense. Maybe this is watered down caramel. What do you guys think? Not exactly the oldest bourbon on the block. Weird. Actually, actually, he never said these were all bourbons. This could be an Irish whiskey or a Scotch whiskey. I hope not. I should have. Damn it, I should have asked. All right, we'll find out. We'll find out. Give it a spin. Give it a swirl job. An SJ is the way to call it. Just get it dizzy. Get it real funky and spun up. Make sure it couldn't walk straight when you're done with it. Not because it's drunk, but because it got spun in 700 circles at 6,500 RPM. That's how fast I spin it. I counted before on my fingers. Okay, that is weirdly different. That is not Scotch or Irish whiskey. That's not what that is. What the heck? This smells like light brown sugar. Poured a bag of light brown sugar on the table and you put a straw to your nose and you were like just doing lines of brown sugar for whatever reason you would do that because you're a sugar addict and you can't stop. You can't be stopped. Brown sugar, brown sugar, a little bit of peppermint. There's almost a bit of a candy cane note in there. Oh, you know those, you know those sticks that have the rock candy on them? The rock candy sticks that you'd get at wherever, you, like a candy shop, like a gourmet candy shop, they make rock candy. A purple, a friggin' purple rock candy. This smells so good, but it's so different colored. I don't know, I gotta taste it. I gotta taste it. Down the hatch. Good grief. That was a big sip. And that is tremendous. If I were Harry Carey, and Harry Carey loved whiskey, and Harry Carey sipped this, he would say, holy cow, holy cow, that's a delicious bird. This is a very high proof, like 130? 135? Hear me out. Hear me out. The palate, the nose and the palate are so sweet. So sweet. But there's a lingering something that's a little bit spicy and almost a little bit savory. Which is strange. Because it's so sweet. But I love it. Based on the color of this son of a gun. Based on the nose, which is extremely candy, and then the the palate is in fuego. She hot. She smoking hot. She's centerfold hot. With all that being said, I don't believe I am drinking a scotch, 
an Irish whiskey. I don't believe I'm drinking a bourbon or a rye whiskey. I think this is a light whiskey. I think this is a light whiskey. Oh. Oh, that's, oh, that's candy right up my alley. That is so good. That grape rock candy and you just sprinkled a bunch of pepper on it, like a fresh cracked pepper <laughs> onto your rock candy. And you just, if you just tasted the rock candy, that's what this is. It's uh, extremely alcohol powered purple rock candy with fresh ground pepper. Whatever is in this glass gets an A. It's an A. Is it an A plus? No, because we have to leave room for an A plus. But whatever is in here is definitely an A. This is right up my alley. This is amazing stuff. It's wonderful. If you don't like this, then you're crazy. You're a crazy person and you should be put in crazy person hell, whatever that means. I can't be right all the time, but I'm right some of the time. And I know that I'm right about this, that this is really good. Final grade, an A. This is my favorite so far. My favorite of the bunch so far is number six. She gets an A. The results are in. It's day number six. I was right. This is the highest proof beverage I've ever drank. I've never had anything this high proof ever but it is amazing. This is amazing. This is Obtanium Light Whiskey. That comes from, I, I know, I just made an Obtanium Bourbon review. So that's so cool. This is Obtanium Light Whiskey from Cat's Eye Distillery in Bettendorf, Iowa, I think. And if it's not Bettendorf, it's something else. But if I'm a Betten man, I'd say Bettendorf. 140? Seven proof MGP 14 year old light whiskey. Damn, that's good. 147. It's like my resting heart rate. I need to get a bottle of this. I need a bottle. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on maybe instead of eating regular cookies, eating light cookies because they could be 147 proof. And the frosting might be even sweeter than what you would imagine. And it might get you more slam slammed. Slam happy, slammer, slam, 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 a ding dong, or something. Slow ho ho. I don't know, no, no.